One of the worst parts about autism for me and for the clients I work with is, well, I'll just show you. Where's my gray headphones? I can't find the headphones. Who can tell me the main idea of the story? Jessica. What? intense feelings can sometimes destroy our ability to solve simple problems. And it gets worse because when therapists try to help kids with problem solving, they normally rank challenges based on the emotion the kid is supposed to feel. And it usually goes like this. If Aunt Linda comes on Tuesday instead of a Sunday, you might feel a little stressed and that's a small problem. So you should have a small reaction. There's ethical concerns with this method, but it also just doesn't work for autistic brains. So I fixed it. Any feeling can go with any problem size. You can know the size of your problem based on how easy or hard it is to fix. For me, it's easy to ask for help, take a break or talk to someone about it. So if any of those things fit with my problem, I know it's smaller. Going to the doctor or needing a serious voice to say, I don't like that, is harder for me, making those bigger problems. By ranking problems based on the needed response, we acknowledge the broad range of autistic emotions while still putting situations into perspective. Practicing this when people are calm can help them mentally streamline the process of reaching a solution, making them more likely to be able to do it when they're upset. 